Paper airplanes are a great way to practice the scientific method. Some of us know how to make a paper airplane. It has wings, a nose, and a body. We give the plane thrust and the air lifts it up. Everybody knows the facts about airplanes. Can you make an airplane? That is the testable question. There are hundreds of videos online so you can learn how to make an airplane. Maybe we can find a better testable question. Can you make the paper airplane fly? Really fly? What do you think? Can you do it? What's your guess? I guess you can. That's my hypothesis. Go online. Search folding paper airplanes. Choose your favorite. Next, get your paper. Fold the plane. And give it a throw. That is the experiment. What did you do? You studied folding paper airplanes and you measured the flight. The next part of the scientific method is the analysis. How well did your plane fly? The wing shape makes the lift and your throw makes the thrust. Can the paper airplane fly better? Different papers have different weights and different designs have different drag. Can you make the wings or the nose or the body a little different? Following the design is important, but you can change things too. Go back. Do it again. Do it better. That is the real scientific method. Your analysis turns into your new testable question. Make a new hypothesis. Change the design. Repeat the experiment. A paper airplane is one of the best ways to practice trial and error. If your airplane isn't good enough, try again. Scientists improve their experiments with trial and error. Are you trying to improve your paper airplanes? Are you trying to make it better and better? Then guess what? You are a scientist.